Hi everyone and welcome back to Classic Gamer 74. I'm your host Anthony Gamer and I'm Mumford, I think. Yep, you are. Okay. Today we're going to be having another AVP Arcade vs. Port where we discuss the most successful video game ever made, Space Invaders. And for a little backup information about the game itself. Space Invaders is a 1978 fixed shooter game that was developed by Tomohiro Nishikata. And it was manufactured and sold by Taito in Japan and was licensed by the Midway Division of Bally for the rest of the world. Uh, this is considered to be the very first fixed shooter game and would inspire several that came later. Uh, the game was an immediate commercial success. Uh, by 1982, it had grossed $3.8 billion, which is equivalent to around $13 billion uh, with inflation, with a net profit of $450 million, making it the best-selling video game and the highest-grossing video game of all time, and considered also one of the most influential games of all time. Because of the fact that uh, Space Invaders was such a financial success, it made sense that every video game, uh, console, and computer system wanted a piece of the pie. That's correct. And so that's pretty much what happened. Believe it or not, though, this game does not come close to the large number of ports of other games, but there are still quite a few, as we will show you in today's episode. So we got a long way to go. So without further ado... Let's get into the games. Are you ready? Yeah. What are we doing again? Oh, yeah, the, the ports. Yeah, I'm ready. All right, I'm ready, too. So, let's get to it. All right, and here we begin. As you can see, this is the arcade and the original version of Space Invaders. Now, for those of you that have never played this game before, the goal is to defeat wave after wave of descending aliens uh, with a horizontally moving laser to earn as many points as possible. The mothership comes by and you have these uh, like force field kind of things to help protect you while you're doing the shooting. Another thing to remember is you gotta get them all before they land because once they land it's game over. Yep. Um, really a, a fun game honestly. I know I say that obviously because it's true but I've been playing this game on and off since the early 80s and it really has a special place in my heart and obviously that of other people as well so without further ado let's get started with the ports undoubtedly the most well-known and iconic port of space invaders has to be for the atari 2600 uh, you're looking at it right here this was released in 1980 it was programmed by Rick Meyer now this game also helped revolutionize the Atari 2600 the sales of it when it was released um, in 1980 actually helped quadruple the sales of the Atari 2600 uh, so what you're saying is people basically uh, got this game uh, got a an Atari 2600 so they could play this game. Yep, pretty much. All right, so let's check out some of the other game ports that actually do, in a lot of ways, keep up with the uh, arcade. Uh, a few differences here and there, but let us know what you think.
Well, before we end today's episode, let's look at some hacks of Space Invaders. When you're learning to hack Atari 2600 games, one of the very first games that you learn to hack has to be Space Invaders. Yeah, that's because it has a limited amount of sprites and it's uh, pretty easy to uh, figure out how to do it. Exactly. Like the top sprites of the aliens actually only have two movements back and forth, so it's easy to manipulate those and make them into pretty much whatever you want in the amount of space that you're given. So, my first series hack was used on Space Invaders. And I'd like to share that with you now. It's called Rap Invaders. So check it out. If you enjoyed that little hack I did and some of the other ones, you can easily find those at the Atari Age forums. Go into the Atari Age forums, join up, and go into the area under hacks, and you'll find hacks of Space Invaders and many other games on there, too. Also, don't be afraid to try out some hacks of your own. Uh, you'd be surprised what you can come up with, and sometimes you can really improve a game overall if you really know what you're doing. A perfect example of that has to be with my buddy Dr. Clue, as he made the award-winning hacks of Minor 2049er 1 and 2. So if you've made some cool hacks for the 2600, you'd like to share them with me and the rest of my audience, let me know about them in the comments section below. I'd really like to see what you've done. In our next episode, we're going to look at some homebrews, clones, and sequels to Space Invaders. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Classic Gamer 74. We really enjoyed bringing it to you, didn't we? Oh, yeah. And if you did enjoy today's episode, you know what to do. Give us a great big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, don't forget to click that little bell icon down there uh, so you'll be notified when we upload new episodes. Uh, that's correct. And... If you'd like to check out my second channel, it is called Musical Memories. In that series, I discuss some of my favorite albums uh, from rock, uh, classic rock, um, 
country, and heavy metal, and some other genres, so please check it out. The link is in the description below. Well, until next time, I'm Anthony Gamer, and I'm Mumford, and we will see you all in the next episode. Until next time, be strong, be safe, be happy, be healthy, and above all, take care of each other, be kind to each other, and stop Asian American hate. See you guys soon. Bye. Goodbye, everyone.